Hey everybody, Bear from Stars Gaming here, back with part 7 of our last Federation Let's Play, where hopefully we can finally put an end to this intergalactic war that we've been fighting. Um, right now, we are down to only two allies. We have the Burlesque, who have expanded quite a bit, and the Skylaxians, who have not really expanded at all. Um, but all of our allies are dead, other than them. And the Acutians are slowly but surely taking over the galaxy. And they are very much our enemies, you can see down here. Oh, stupid tool tips. Um, our relationship with them is like negative 1,000. And uh, so we need to deal with them. And so before we get started, I wanted to thank uh, Jack McFadden Finlayson, who is sort of helping me learn the game and not look like a noob. So thank you for that. But one thing that he suggested is that we go talk to the burlesque and learn some of their technology because we're getting like wiped out in combat right now. We need to improve big time. So we need to we need to go to the burlesque. Um, unfortunately their home world is captured by the Acutian, so I guess this is effectively their home world. We'll head there. And we need to learn their technology. Let's see if we can find that. Um we can gift technology. Ah, learn from race. That's what we want to do. Um, why can't I do that right now? Oh, I don't care about that. Subatomic theory. Synthetic fossil fuels. I'm more concerned with, like, combat. Well, we'll start with this. I don't think it'll let me do these right now. Oh, I can do that one right now. Bomblet submunitions. Um, orbital bombardment by ships in orbit around enemy's planet get a plus two boost in their effectiveness multiplier. Delayed burst submunitions. Um, that's more orbital bombardment. Fragmentation submunitions. No. I really need something that's just gonna like help me not get my ass kicked. That's sort of what we're looking for here. Um, it looks like basic subatomic theory is gonna be the gateway to a lot of these. So, I think I should take that, and we'll do it. Let's fast forward. Um, cool. So, cool, it cut it down to a third of what it would have normally taken us to research it. Let's head back here and we'll learn some more. Um... Advanced subatomic theory. All scientific research is boosted. What is this gonna do? Uh, I'm not concerned with the environment right now. I'm concerned with winning wars. Huh. I can build meat vats. Not really concerned with that though. Although we could use that to like boost the burlesque uh, reproduction rates or something. That might be handy, but I think um, munitions might be useful. So we'll take that one. It'll be quick. That one's done. Luckily, they have a ton of research that we can learn, all in relatively short time. Learn from race. We'll learn uh, this one as well. Let's fast forward through that. And then we'll jump back in here and see what else we can borrow from them. We're starting to run out of stuff that we can learn, though. Ooh, Graviton Theory. This race gains plus 2.7 to its ship effectiveness modifier. This affects our modest strength, auto-resolve levels, and so on. In battle, player ships primarily gain hull strength from this, and enemy ships primarily gain weapon strength. Okay. Well, that's something that we should definitely learn. Um, let's learn this one real quick, just because it is faster. Speed through that. Outbreak. That actually tends to quiet down crime, so I guess that's good. I don't really like the robot chick voice. She's not as funny as she seems to think she is. Um, oh, a disease. Uh oh. A Karuma. Where is that? Is that here? Yeah. That's where the Andors were. They wouldn't have affected the Andors because they're robots, but oh well. Red Rash. That just doesn't sound good. Okay, back to Friendly Axe. What else can we learn from them? Obviously we have the Graviton Theory, but we've got all these as well. Um, I'll 
take a boost. Now let's just get this out of the way. We need that big time. We were getting absolutely wrecked before. Alright, we're done there. Let's get rid of all these. And let's see if there's anything else. We may have to go talk to the Skylaxians as well to uh, boost our technology. Hmm. Let's knock this one out real quick and see what that unlocks for us. And if there's nothing good, then we'll go talk to the Skylaxians. So we'll speed through that. Quest ignored. Uh, I don't feel like running any Black Ops right now. Okay, let's take a look and see what we got out of that. Um, Fleet Construction Nano Robotics. That's interesting. This race gains plus 0.51. Or sorry. No, I was right. 0.51 to a ship, a ship effectiveness modifier. This affects our modest strengths, auto resolve levels, and so on. Battle player ships primarily gain whole strength from this. Again, something we need. Um, enemy ships primarily gain weapon strength. Uh, I'll take it. I mean, we need all the whole strength we can get. So let's fast forward this. It looks like somebody is busy making friends. And I don't mean you. Close that. Um, right, let's head over to the Skylaxians and see if they have anything that would significantly boost our effectiveness in combat. Quantum computers, huh? And improved textbooks. Um, yeah, let's learn that. Because that's going to be quick as well, and that'll give us even more whole strength. Um, right, so let's head back in to here, and that might be it. Oh no, what's all this? That's a pretty big effectiveness modifier, and that's almost one whole boost. Huh. Let's learn this one. We'll learn those two, and then I think we'll start taking the fight to the, uh, Acutians to see if we've gotten any more effective in combat. If not, we'll have to kind of continue this. Although I'm sure this is probably fairly boring. Um, 5.4, that's a huge jump. We'll knock this out though. And we'll go fight something. And then if that's not enough effectiveness, we'll come back and learn whatever that 5.4 one was. Um, where can we harass them best? Probably one of these planets. Um, let's see. Public order is apocalyptic. Right, so we could probably make use of that. That's where the Borings were. Let's head there. And... Smuggle in resistance fighters. Let's smuggle in some boring resistance fighters. See what we can do. And hopefully we don't get absolutely wrecked. Hoping this was enough effectiveness, but we'll shortly find out, won't we? Uh, we got little guys flying in from here. What are they weak to miniguns? We'll just stick with the minigun for now. Let's try to deal with all the little guys before we uh, deal with the big guys. Or maybe we should just ignore the little guys, because there's an awful lot of them. Not putting them down as much as I would like. Oh, I shouldn't have flown through that. Eh, we only took one hit, it's not so bad. What are these guys weak to? Energy blaster, okay, let's switch it up then. We'll continue there, and then we're gonna switch to energy blaster. Oh, it's what we were already using. Whoops. Took a big shield hit there. Let's come back around. Uh-oh. One of those missiles got me. Yeah, I think we need some more effectiveness. So we're still a little bit squishy. Actually, kind of a lot squishy. So hopefully that 5.4 is enough. Um, right, so back over here. And we will learn from them. Advanced Gravitonics, I think was it. Yeah, 5.4. Sure. Actually, before we do that, what are some of the other options? Nonlinear mathematics. This economy stuff. Uh, I'm worried about combat right now. This particular playthrough is going to end by somebody conquering somebody else, so... 
actually what's happening here? Who are they being attacked by? The Acutians? Yeah, we want to abort that because they might need us desperately. Um, help defend against invader armadas. Yeah, we need to do that. Hopefully we can be of some use. Um, let's see. Minigun. Okay, we need to switch it up then. We haven't taken any significant damage yet. Whoa. There's a lot going on down here. Is that an enemy? Yeah. Energy blaster. Alright, let's swing back around and hit him with it. He's got like the same ship we do, basically. We're doing pretty significant shield damage to him, actually. Yeah, his shield's almost gone. Once we break through his shield, he's actually going to be pretty easy to put down. Let's not eat one of those missiles. Oh, we're almost through. I think that was it. Giga Cannon and then Gravity Lance. Alright, let's go up here. Gravity Lance firing and we're going to target him. Make sure we put him down. Ooh, something hurt me. Maybe we collided? Yeah, let's come back this way. Catch up to him. Oh, we hit him there. He's kind of outpacing me right now. One more hit should do it. There it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and use that. Break his shield? No, not even close. We'll go back to this though. Um, auto fire. Okay, we're taking some shield damage here, but he's taking a hell of a lot more, so that's good. I don't know how we're doing here. I can't tell how many allies I have left. Yikes, I'm gonna use that. I was about to take some damage there. Oh no. Something, something like either the crash or something just like wiped me out there. That sucks. Um Acutions lost 95 base power. Everybody lost base power though. Three armadas. Oh man. Skylaxians didn't exactly get the better of that. Let's continue to improve our technology, because that's really all we can do. Hopefully it'll make us effective enough to, uh, oops. Um, no, that one. Yeah, that's the one we want to do. Okay, speed through this. And it doesn't look like the Skylaxians are dead yet. So let's get rid of all these, and I'm going to see if they have anything else that would greatly benefit us. Graviton Gun, that sounds cool. 1.2 to ship effectiveness. Gravity weapons is increased by 10%, that's really good. Let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll try some more combat. Hopefully we can be a little bit more useful now. They seem to be getting the worst of it. I think the Acutians are actively trying to uh, take them out. Um, let's see. Hold off overwhelming attack. Let's try it. So these are the friendlies. Where's the enemies all around us? Energy blasters seem like my best option here. So that's what I'll start with. Wow, that thing is pretty dangerous looking. I'm just going to kind of hang out in here and let them eat most of the damage. That guy's already down. Man, they have some pretty badass defenses. We're eating a ton of damage though. Oh, there we go. Now we're healed. Let's swing back this way. Let's 
go after this guy. Is his shield out yet? Not quite. Holy crap, that thing is like devastating. Let's chase him down. Because it seems like they're trying to kind of flee the uh, area. Do not wreck into him. Ouch. Okay, I'm going to peel back. We're getting a little bit too far from our uh, buddies. And let's get out of here. Uh, where did all these guys come from? Oh no. Oh man, that thing wrecked me. Wow. Well, we're still not combat effective enough. So this is going to make it very difficult to uh, save the Skylaxians. What else can we do? Well, we can learn some more technology from them. They do have other stuff. Hmm. Cooperative research. What can we learn from this? Photon mechanics? No. Subatomic weapons? Not yet. Laser pistols? Personal shields? Fiber blades. That's not really going to help me, though. And that's... I'm the one getting my ass kicked. The Skylaxians are actually doing okay, so... Uh... Prisoner exchange? Sure. Cool. Um... Right, let's keep learning from them. So, maybe wireless comms? Nonlinear mathematics? I don't know what's going to help me the most here. None of them are going to really um, benefit me immediately. Let's take this one. Okay. And see if that unlocked anything. Improved trade schools. This is going to boost my research. Let's take nonlinear mathematics and see where that gets me. Maybe it'll give me some cool sciencey weapons. But probably not. We'll try wireless comms, because that's quick. Let's see what else we get from that. Nothing. Alright, let's try trade schools. And that probably didn't get me anywhere either. Nope. Well, we may as well... I mean, there's only one each. One month each, so we may as well just kind of knock them out. Learn everything we can learn. That's everything they have to offer. Ooh, tech breakthrough. Gene splicing, interesting. Tech from Ally. Gifted to this race because we are in an alliance with them, okay. Did that drop anything into here? It did. Huh. We need to learn gene splicing first. Okay, let's do that. Hey, someone caught the black bubbles. Uh oh. Um. Steal temporary cure from Obscura Hideout. Where's the Obscura Hideout? Disease appears. Uh oh. Black bubbles. Um, pirates from Exodus. Uh oh. We need to find where the heck is the asteroid blaster pieces, watcher Finbrew. My planet is being ravaged by disease and no vaccination plan is in sight. I've located an obscure hideout that may just hold the key to temporarily staving off this illness, however. Um, but where? I'd like to accept it, it just doesn't tell me where. I feel like I'm being dumb here, but like... I don't see anything that fits that description. And it doesn't exactly tell me where to go. Hmm, let's head back here and see what they know. 
super splicing. All right, well, we'll learn that from them. Cool. And that was all that we could learn, so we're pretty much back up to... I mean, as good as we can be. Can we learn technology from these guys? It seems like we can. Kind of interesting. Huh. They actually don't have that great attack, though. Let's go help them out. Because it's really all we can do. Huh. <sighs> We're just not being very effective in combat. Hmm. Help defend against invader armadas. Let's let's search nearby ice belt for some tech. What are we gonna have to fight off? A bunch of hydras or hydrals? Actually, I should probably see what's going to work best against the miniguns, okay. We are going to get our asses kicked right now. Oh uh, no, their stuff is pretty slow. We are taking quite a few of them, though. They don't have shields, do they? No, just a whole lot of health. Get some debris. Try to skirt these missiles as best we can. But... We can only go in circles for so long. Let's see. Does my Giga Cannon destroy the missiles? Let's try that. It, well, that does. Okay, that's good to know. Try to head out this way just because I'm eating a lot more of these little shots than I'd like to. But good to know that we can actually kill off those missiles. Somebody just died. Somebody else just died. Let's see, actually he's not long for this world either. Let's swing back this way and try to get rid of him. 42... There it is. Got him as well. He's down. Shoot this way past the missiles. Let's go like right here, and then I'm gonna use my virus. Use it. Nice. And we're gonna bounce it down this way. Dodge some of these. Ooh, cutting it awfully close there. Do I just have to like go for them? How's this work? Killed off all of those. Oh, I just have to dock, okay. Stay close by. Please don't kill me, Mr. Missile. Uh, I didn't do anything. And docked. Cool, we won, finally. Uh, Mulligan and Operation Raptor. Interesting. I don't know what that does. Um, let's see, I should probably check the time. So I'll be right back, guys. And we'll uh, figure out what to do next when we know how much time we're working. Well, unfortunately, we're actually out of time, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, next time around, we're going to try to... I mean, now that our tech is about as high as we can get it, I think our next goal should be trying to convince the Burlus to just outright assault the Acutians as best as they can. And then we're going to focus our efforts on um, trying to keep the Skylaxians alive if we can. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please feel free to share my videos however you guys see fit, and I will see you guys back here for part 8 of our Last Federation Let's Play.